Greetings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star. If you are new here, I don't know how you found me, but I am super glad you did. And if you are returning, y'all the real MVP, you already know. So um, you are joining me today for my third Meet the Tarot Decks video, and you saw the title, you know what we're working with. But I wanna say first off, let's get our drink of water. Get your coffee, get your tea, whatever. I'm so unprepared, I like running out of water. I've reshot this video like six or seven times. I drank an entire cup of coffee and now an entire bottle of water in shooting this. I'm going nuts over here, you guys. So if I'm a little discombobulated, that's why. I'm sorry, I'm having phone problems. I'm getting so many interruptions, it's driving me nuts. I've been trying to do this video for three hours now and my phone's about to die. So that's how many interruptions I've had. But let's go ahead and get through this. If you have not seen my first and second episodes of Meet, the, Meet My Tarot Decks with the Starman Tarot Miss Kiani and my Centennial Enigma, I will go ahead and put those in the description box for you guys, as well as the Chaotic Witch Ants Meet My Tarot Decks video, which started this whole series for me. And if you guys have not seen episode one and two, I would definitely recommend watching those just so that you don't miss anything so that you're all caught up on how I run things with this series because I might stop um, doing my whole long intro about those. And um, if you see me randomly shuffling, that's just because it's a way for me to connect with my deck, to get back in the frame of mind of being connected with this deck so that I can do these answers a little bit better. So on the first one, I did have all of this written down. Um, in the second and third I have not, however, I've done the analysis already on my phone, but I don't have it written out. So you'll get to see here how I formulate the answers for this spread. And if you missed the first two, this is a six card spread. I do take the bottom of the deck, which makes it seven cards. So this is, let me introduce you to this deck. This is my Radiant Rider Weight in a Tin. You guys have seen this video, uh, I mean, you have seen this deck quite a few videos. And um, if you haven't seen my review video for that, I will link that in the description box as well. This is Joe, you guys, this is Mr. Joe. This is my cranky old man, and he might not be on YouTube anymore. I feel so bad for him because he doesn't like being on YouTube and we've had to reshoot this like seven times today. I'm so sorry, buddy, I'll give you some selenite, I promise. <laughs> but um, yeah Joe has expressed to me that he does not like being on YouTube he does not want to be in videos anymore he only likes reading for me and he barely does that because he's just kind of tired energy he just doesn't want to be doing things anymore so my aunt and I have this running joke about him being a retired Navy vet old cranky man shaking his his cane like you kids in your mystic Mondays like he's <laughs> he's a cranky old man so um, he did say that he doesn't like being in the bag. We do have bags for, I do have bags for all of the decks and he did not like that I put him in a bag. He wanted his box. He said if he couldn't have a blue bag, he wanted his box. And I told him he can't have the box because we put the boxes over there for display. So um, he is currently in a Batman box right now because it is Batman and he really likes that manly feel and he loves the color blue. So my aunt's making him a bag. It's like a pretty purple bag with coffins all over it and she put a special blue tie on it just for him because he loves blue. So that's how serious we take our decks here. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this. And um, if you notice, I am still holding the deck. Same reason I would like to keep that connection so that I can formulate the answers and make sure that I am on the right track when I'm getting the questions, the answers put together, okay? So the first question in the spread is how will this deck help me with reading tarot? I got the high priestess upright. So the keywords for that are intuition, con unconscious, and inner voice. So the way that I answered this one is that this deck will help me understand my inner world and intuition because of the definition on this so if you guys um i don't know if i told you like i said i've done this video so many times i'm using the labyrinthos app so i do have this already put in here as a spread you can put the question on there it shows you the card the keywords and the definition on that so that's what i'm reading from i will have all of that labyrinthos information linked in the description as well Sorry, future me, for all these links. You're doing great. <laughs> 
So the second question is, what frame of mind should I be in to ask you questions? I got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The keywords for that are work-life imbalance, smothering, and work without reward. So the answer I got for this one, what frame of mind should I be in to ask questions? I said I need to be thinking about rebalancing my needs. So the third strength, third, blah, 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 third question is deck strengths. I got Ace of Pentacles, which is lost opportunity and mischance. So for deck strengths, I said um, the potential for a new venture or opportunity. He does. He he do be looking out for me. He's a good deck. <laughs> so the fourth question in the spread is deck weaknesses. I got the seven of pentacles. Keywords for that are hard work, perseverance, and diligence. This is hilarious and the first time I shot this I could not stop laughing because let me read you this. <laughs> Remember I said Joe's a cranky old retired vet. So it says deck weaknesses. An immense amount of work has been done and the effort that has been put into previous is now ready to be harvested. Though the crop is ready, there's still more work and is now a time of focus and diligence before one can reap the rewards. So I had said earlier, he is uh, a retired Navy vet. He's put in his time, he did his work, but he is tired. He's got a few miles left in the tank and he's still got a lot to teach me because, you know, he's old and wise, but he's just tired. He'd rather not put in lots of work and just give me advice. So that's definitely his weakness is um, hard work. <laughs> okay, so the fifth question in the spread is what is the best way for us to work together? I got the king of cups upright. The keywords for that are compassion, control, and balance. So the best way for us to work together, I said is, um, I do believe I said control and balance. Best way for us to work together is compassion, through compassion toward balance, something like that. The sixth question is a message for me about working with this deck. I got the lovers upright. And at first that was like, are you hitting on me, Joe? And then I remembered, I have to like constantly remind myself the lovers is not always about romance and it makes sense when you read it. So I will read this definition because this one is super, super cute. So it was a message for me about working with this deck. The keywords are partnerships, union, duality, and choice. And the definition is a union of harmony, full of trust, confidence, and strength. This relationship is one that represents a deep emotional bond. It can also represent an inner harmony between two aspects of one's personality. So I thought that was super sweet. I was like, oh, Joe, that makes sense. So um, he feels that we are connected. We are very connected. We've been very connected. And like I said, that's why I use this deck a lot. But um, you guys might not see Joe anymore. He might be done. I think I'm going to retire him from YouTube use. And um, that is definitely what he has expressed. He just wants to sit by himself in the bag, in the box, and be happy Joe enjoying his retirement. <laughs> so bottom of the deck energy for this spread was the Four of Cups. And the interesting thing about um, this is that the overall read says, being so deep in contemplation and thought, you may sometimes ignore the gifts that the world gives you. The potential joys that are laid at your feet are ignored. Even though your intentions may be noble, you run the risk of treating the world with apathy. So I don't know if this is what he was telling me as what my energy was when I went into the spread. I did have that also come up in the centennial so I must have been in a funk and not even noticing it when I was doing these reads because that's what the cards do they mirror you and tell you what you don't know about yourself and what you're putting off so he definitely told me that I'm deep in contemplation but may ignore the gifts the world gives me and the potential joys at my feet are ignored <laughs> Even though your, poten your intentions may be noble, you run the risk of treating the world with apathy. So I love that um, I try not to ask them for a message while I'm doing these intro spreads because I want to make it all about them and get the introduction out of the way. Excuse me, I have to get a drink. My throat is killing me. 
but I'm done shooting videos for today. This was way too much <laughs> having to reshoot this video seven, seven, I think this is number eight now. I don't know, guys, I'm losing it over here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this deck spread. Um, you guys should leave a comment and tell Joe happy retirement. <laughs> let him know that we appreciate his time that he has given us on YouTube and we ho wish him happy retirement and it's so cute the bag that my aunt is making for him has a special blue string that's so sweet because Joe's very adamant about liking blue <laughs> so um, if you guys have noticed I have these beautiful Amazonite mala beads here and the sea green ohm bracelet so I will have my link to the Kellyana shop in my description box as well as my code for that so that you guys can go shop check out the yoga wear check out the jewelries get yourself something fun and if you guys are not already following me on Facebook and Instagram all that information is in the description box as well it always is even if I forget to mention it so if you um, want to chat, you want to say hi, you want to be friends, you can find me on Instagram at Starry Nightmare Tarot. And remember, Instagram sees things that Facebook does not. So you get sneak peeks on Instagram. If I backlog videos some days, you'll see what I'm going to do ahead of time. I get so excited when I backlog that I have to tell somebody. And they also see what decks I have ordered, what's on the way. There's all of my affiliate pictures, so my swimsuit affiliate, my Kellyana affiliate. I will be doing other things with other companies coming up as well, and I have done that announcement as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you didn't like this video, that's cool. Thumbs down. You don't have to like my video. And Let's go ahead and tell Joe happy retirement in the comments. I think that would be super sweet because even though there's only a couple of us that are consistently watching my channel, we appreciate Joe and what he has done for this channel and he has done quite a few videos for me and helped out a lot of beginners realize that this is a great, great deck for them to start with. So. I really appreciate Joe and all that he has done for this channel, and I will respect his wishes and retire him from YouTube use. But we do have um, my Starman and my Centennial absolutely love being on YouTube. They love, love, love it. So you might see the Centennial now instead of the Radiant, which is completely fine with me. Enigma is my best friend. It's doing great things for me. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day wherever you are when this video reaches you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Namaste. Stay.